this example, given the points 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 8, 5, 9, and 6, 9, in part A, we are going to use linear regression to find the line and graph the light of the space without any intermediate calculations to know less than six decimal places and round the coefficients to two decimal places. In part B, we are going to find the Pearson correlation coefficient R. To use linear regression to find the line in the form of y equals mx plus b, we follow step one, two, three, and four. In step one, we are going to find the x bar and y bar, which are the average of the y values and the x values. And step number two, we are going to compute the delta x and delta y, which are the difference of the x value and the average or the x bar. Delta y, the difference of the y value and the y bar. Step number three, we are going to calculate the summation of the product of delta x and delta y and the summation of the delta x squared. And then the last step, we are going to calculate the slope m and the intercept b by using the summation of the delta x times delta y that we calculate from part from number three or step three divided by the summation of the delta x squared from step three as well. And then the value b will be calculated by using the y bar from step one minus the m times the x bar. That means we're going to need to compute x bar, y bar, delta x, delta y, the product of delta x, delta y, and delta x all squared. So we're going to work on the numbers in the systematic and organized way. Let's make a table of values and create extra columns for the computation. the x value, y value, the delta x, delta y, delta x quantity square. Let's go ahead with the delta y quantity square because we are going to use it to compute in part B or when we have to find the Pearson correlation coefficient R and then the column of the product of delta x and delta y. The x value for the order pair 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 8, 5, 9, 6, 9. The delta x is computed using the x value and the x bar. So this way, we have to calculate the x bar before we get the value for the column of delta x. So by x bar, we're gonna add them all up. So we're gonna add the last row as a summation row. The sum of the x will be 17. The sum of the y will be 41. So then the mean or the average of the x or the x bar going to be 17 divided by 6 or 2.83. And the y bar would be the sum of the y values of 41 divided by 6. That gives us 6.83. To compute the delta x, so we're going to use each x value subtracted by the x bar. So the first column, the column of delta x, the first row, would be computed 
using the x, which is zero, subtracted by the x bar, which is 2.83. So we get the value of negative 2.83 over here. And then repeat the same process for the rest of the x values. The negative 1.8. Three, 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 something like that. So keep going because intermediate calculation, we have to keep like at least six decimal places. And the delta y is the same way, which is y minus y bar. So the first data here is from the value of the y, which is three, minus the y bar, which is 6.83. The value here would be negative 3.8. Three, 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 and so forth. So we repeat the same thing to complete the whole, the whole table. For the delta x square, we're gonna use the value of negative two point eight three 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 squared to obtain the value as eight point zero two seven 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 eight. This one is from negative 2.8333 repeating, three six decimal places square. Over here, the delta y all square would be from negative 3.83 repeating square. And that would be 14.69444 and so forth. And for the product of delta x and delta y, we're gonna use the value as a product of negative 2.833333 and the delta y, which is negative 3.833333 to get the value 10.8611111. And the computation will repeat the same way for the rest of the table. And this can be done in the Excel spreadsheet you see on the screen, the table is obtained by using the Excel spreadsheet. The del x, this is the column for the delta x. Del y is the column for delta y. And then delta x quantity square, the delta y quantity square, delta x multiplied by delta y as the last column. And then the value, the 17 here is the summation of the x value. You can write the notation as summation x equals. And then this is the x bar. And the next one is summation y is 41. So then the y bar is 6.83. The value 26.8333 repeating, this is the summation of the delta x quantity square. The next column is the summation of the delta y quantity square. And the last one is the summation of delta x times delta y. Now, we're gonna use these numbers to compute the m and the b. The m or the slope is computed by using the formula, the summation of delta x times delta y all divided by the summation of the square of the delta x. And from the table, the summation of delta x delta y is 25.833333 and divided by summation of delta x all square, which is 26.833. Three, 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 three. And the number comes out to be 0 0.96. The B or the Y intercept, we use the formula, the Y bar minus M times X bar. We get the Y bar as 6.83 minus the M, which is 0 0.96 times the X bar. 2.83, and we obtain the B value as 4.10. Now we got the value M and B, and then we can form the regression, the linear regression in the form of Y equals the M, 
x plus b, which is 0 0.96 times x plus 4.10 as the linear regression. And then using this to plot the graph, Let's make the graph smaller. As you see, the dots are the dots from the given order pairs. And then the black line is the line from the linear regression. The part is done. Next part, we are going to compute the Pearson correlation coefficient, R. In part B, we're going to compute the R. The R equals the summation of the delta x delta y divided by the square root of summation delta x quantity square times the square root of summation delta y quantity square. And from the table, the summation of the delta x delta y is 25.83333. And all divided by the square root of summation of delta x squared, which is 26.833333. Multiplied by the square root of the summation of delta y squared or the square root of 28.833333. And the number for the R is 0 0.929. It's positive number is greater than zero. So that means the slope is positive or the graph is increasing. And the value R is very close to the value one. So it means the number shows that the linear regression indicates a strong, or this number R indicates a strong linear dependence. 